The Arizona Cardinals have released DeAndre Hopkins, and today we're going to talk about if it makes sense for the Raiders to pick this guy up. Uh, I'm going to make the case for both sides of the argument. Uh, we're going to talk about why I think the Raiders should pick him up, uh, and then I'll tell you guys why it might not make sense a little bit later on, but let's, let's just get right into this. Um, so the Cardinals released DeAndre Hopkins, and interestingly, they released him with uh, without a post June 1st designation, uh, which means Arizona will take the entire $22.6 million dead cap hit this season. Um, this speaks volumes about the Cardinals. This means the Cardinals are about to tank once again for the 2023 season. Uh, if you're a team competing, you want to save as much salary cap, you want to be as conservative, you want to try to push it between multiple years to really not ruin any one year, right? And the fact that the Arizona Cardinals took that entire $22.6 million in this first year. That means they're tanking, right? Um, but for the Raiders, that means because no one came to call, we may be able to get this guy via free agent contract. We, we may be able to offer him, you know, 5 to $7 million, and he may play for that, right? DeAndre Hopkins is 30 years old. He's on the back end of his career, but he's still a very productive football player. If you guys look at some of his stats, I mean, just the past four to five seasons, I mean, 1,500 yards, 1,165 over 1,400 yards. And the last two years haven't been great, but he didn't play the entire season either. You can see that uh, last year he was obviously suspended. He still had 717 yards in nine games, which is pretty good. Uh, the year before he was hurt, but he still had eight touchdowns in those 10 games. All right, so he's still a productive football player. He's still a really, really good football player. And I think for the Raiders, you have to consider, like, do you want a guy that could come in and be productive? Do you want a guy opposite of uh, of, of Devontae Adams who can come in and, and carry his own weight, who you cannot not double team, right? Like Hopkins has to be double teamed to be able to stop him. And that's the only way you can stop Adams. And if you can't double team Adams, then Hopkins goes off, right? It's, it's one of those things where you really have to consider it if you're the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, uh, it may not make sense on a whole, a bunch of fronts, right? And, and I'll be the first to tell you guys, it may not make sense for the Raiders to bring in DeAndre Hopkins. You know, uh, I don't think this Raiders offense is going to be an issue, um, just like it really hasn't been over, over multiple years, right? Because we invest so much on the offensive side, right? We always have receivers. We always have a tight end. We always have a running back, at least most recently, right? Last five years or so. Uh, we've always had offensive firepower and it hasn't been the same on the defensive side so uh, for me it may not make sense in that aspect that you should really probably focus on defense before you focus on the offense plus receivers is one of the strengths of the Raiders right you already got guys like Renfro and May Myers uh, Adams you got Jacobs obviously running the football uh, which also takes me to my next point do the Raiders even need all these receivers right because if you really think about how the Raiders are kind of constructing the team, they're really building based off of running the football, but then they bring all these receivers in. So are we going to throw it more often than run it? I don't know, right? Um, but I do think that for Jimmy Garoppolo, you have everything he already needs to have success. So it may not make sense to bring in a guy like DeAndre Hopkins. Yes, it probably won't cost a whole lot. If the Raiders do bring them in, I'd be really, really happy, but I also don't think it's going to happen because of the fact that uh, DeAndre Hopkins was on a podcast recently uh, on the I Am Athlete podcast, and he named five quarterbacks and organizations that he would go basically play for right now. The five quarterbacks he said were Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, and Justin Herbert. Uh, nowhere on this list is uh, Derek, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. Nowhere on this list is Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, so to me, I don't think DeAndre Hopkins is going to want to come and, and play with the Raiders. Obviously, unfortunately for the Raiders, two of these five teams are in our division, right? You got Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert, two guys that are probably like top five to seven quarterbacks. Um, and Hopkins wants to play with these guys. And it's kind of interesting because for the Raiders, if we want to make the playoffs, it's going to really start with being able to at least split with the Chiefs this year uh, and then split with the Chargers this year, right? At the minimum. Hopefully, we can beat the Chargers both times. But if they get DeAndre Hopkins, that makes it that much harder for the Raiders. Um, I do think that the Chiefs are very, very limited with their cap space. So it may not make sense for them. The Chargers just drafted two rookie wide receivers, one in the first round, one in the fourth round. So it may not make sense for them either. 
Um, but then a team like the Ravens could possibly get him, right? Or the Bills. And those teams are still technically in the AFC as well. So we'll see what ends up happening, man. DeAndre Hopkins did give us the, the teams that he kind of wants to go to. And the Raiders aren't part of that team. But I will also state this. Those five teams are all playoff teams. They all have, you know, cap issues already. And bringing in DeAndre Hopkins is going to be costly. So DeAndre Hopkins may not even get reached out by those teams. In that instance, the Raiders could be a team that he could be interested in. I think the big thing with the Cardinals is they are tanking, right? As I mentioned, um, it's a June 1st. It's, a, it's not a post-June 1st cut, so they're tanking. And I don't think this guy wants to be on a team that's tanking. And I don't think the Raiders are tanking. I think the Raiders are playing to win or they're playing to have success. Um, I think Dave Ziegler and Josh Daniels understand the importance of building a solid roster. The same way the Eagles have, the Niners, the Chiefs, the Cowboys. And it's not even just building a, a solid roster. It's, it's more about the depth, right? If you... For example, go into the San Francisco 49ers depth. These guys have really good backup guards. These guys have good uh, backup receivers, right? Good backup tight ends and good backup linebackers, right? The Raiders got to get to a point where we can rely consistently on our backups because right now, some of our backups get tasked with actually starting. And that's not how you have success in the NFL. Um, and I think Josh Daniels and David are going to understand that. And I think... You know, based off of how they're kind of drafting, they're more so getting guys that they know will be in the NFL in five, six, or seven years, right? So, for me, I can understand what the Raiders are trying to do. Maybe DeAndre Hopkins ends up settling and saying, "I'll open," you know, "I'll open up past those five teams," and maybe he'll come to the Raiders. Either way, I don't think it's a big deal for us. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I want to know what you guys think, man. Would you guys be open to DeAndre Hopkins? Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.